Welcome back to Terminology Tuesday. It's late March and spring is in the air. That also means that pollen is in the air. So I thought we'd spend the next few episodes talking about the different terms and processes having to do with pollination. So what is pollination? Pollination is part of the process of sexual reproduction in plants. Flowering plants, also known as angiosperms, produce flowers that house the sexual organs of the plant. The point of the flowers is to reproduce, to produce seed that create the next generation. The process of pollination specifically refers to the transfer of male reproductive cells, called pollen, to the female reproductive organ, called a stigma. Here's a flower of our native coral honeysuckle vine, Linicera sempervirens. And you can see the pollen here produced on the multiple male parts of the flower called the anthers. And this part right here is the female organ and the tip is called the stigma. That's the part that receives the pollen. So the transfer of these pollen grains from the anthers to the stigma is the process of pollination. When animals reproduce, they just you know, move towards each other and inter interact with each other, right? Well, plants are rooted to the ground, so they can't move very quickly, right? To meet each other, to achieve sexual reproduction, pollination. So they've had to evolve other methods and rely on third parties in order to achieve pollination. And next week we'll begin discussing some of those ways.